Good morning, my friends. It's the 25th. It's Christmas Day, December 2015. And this year's been an incredible year. I'd like to thank all those people who have generously donated money to help me attend different climate conferences and um, important events. And uh, of course, this is why uh, I get so worked up. It's because we are seeing things in the sky which are just unnatural, which we have not always seen all our lives. That's because we have in place, just as the 1996 US military symposium suggests, owning the weather 2025 using the weather as a force multiplier just as JFK said back in 1961 on the 25th of September at the United Nations General Assembly that all nations would work together to accurately predict and one day control the weather we are witnessing the programs development it's still in evolution it's not there yet but it's it's uh, incredible since I've been filming chemtrails and these strange things in the sky, the program has changed dramatically in four years. The program is real, there's many different facets to it, but the motivation is to create one world government by conning the masses into believing there's a man-made climate change threat, global warming, due to CO2. <laughs> What a joke that is, what a lie, what a massive deception. It's a, it's a real, real mass deception, my friends. And we have to wake up. We have to realize our governments are not to be trusted. Why should we believe anything the government or their funded institutions have to say? Governments have got an appalling record of lies and deception and nothing's changing there. It's time to wake up, my friends, because we are the ones that will make a difference. It's people waking up and participating, overcoming all our differences and working together. I know that will be really, really hard. It's hard. It is hard. But we've got to find a way, my friends, because the enemy is uh, the government and the bankers that control them. The financial people, the oligarchy who control the governments. The governments are just uh, a management tool. They're just management. We need to get to the, uh, the people who have enough money to control policies, who set up the foundations, who decide the policies for the future. The Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, the Royals, all these ridiculously rich people who despise the masses because we're a threat to them because what they're doing is wrong and we're waking up and realising it and we want to change the system so it's fair for everybody everywhere. Take care, my friends, and bye for now.